I like the itises kicking in. Uh, I bring you greetings on behalf of Mr. C.D. Witherspoon, the founding father, if you will, of the African American Democratic Club of Baltimore City. Come on, Penny, wait a minute. Shake it off. It's a cup. I wanted to share a little something with you before I introduce the chair of the Maryland Democratic Party. Maybe it'll even perk you up and wake you up a day. It's called Who's to Blame? And, and I say that because I am excited. When, I, when, I'm, when I'm on the same program as Big Brother, quite easy. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but this is the first time for me. I, I get to speak on the same program as a man who has just met South African apartheid. I remember that. I remember the handcuffs. I won't tell you how old it was. I remember the picture. We read in the papers and hear on the air of killing and stealing and crime everywhere. We sigh and we say as we notice that trend. This younger generation, oh, where will it end? But can we be sure that it's their fault alone? Are we less guilty who place in their way so many things that lead them astray? Too much money, too much idle time, too many movies of passion and crime, too many books not fit to be read, too much evil in what they hear said, too many children in carriage to roam, and too many parents who won't stay at home. Kids don't write the movies, they don't write the books, they don't paint gay pictures of gangsters and crooks, they don't make the liquor, they don't make the laws, they don't make the cars, they don't make the bars, they don't make the drugs that muddle the brain. It's all done by older folk, greedy for gain. Delinquent teenagers, oh, how we condemn the sins of the nation. We blame on them, but by the laws of the blameless, the Savior may know who is there amongst you to cast the first stone. For in so many cases, it's sad, but it's true. The title delinquent fits older folk, too. But when I look around and I see my, Montgomery County, and Harper County, tell Tampa Ridgely hello up there. I know she's got to be nonpartisan, but this is the Democratic. And, 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 and Charles County, and, and Baltimore, and, and Prince George County. I'm just wondering where is the African American Democratic Club of Maryland? Is this the formation there, Obi? Yeah. I guess it is. Yeah, right. I guess it is. I run a website for those who may not know. It's called bemorenews.com. And over the past seven years, we have a five-point agenda. Business, public education, ex-offender services, universal access to health care, and affordable housing. And when I think about Baltimore City, where six to seven out of every ten young black men are more likely to go to Central Booking and Merle State Penitentiary and House of Correction, and down this way you're talking about a lot. I know that public education is something that I just, I just wonder sometimes if our elected officials really hear the need. I mean, in Baltimore, we got two new stadiums, yeah. and we got a new women's prison and a new children's prison coming on Gay right, Street, but we've not had any new schools. Yeah. Now, I went over there to District 8 the other night, I was Indian Head, I was there, something was it, and, and, and there was an elementary school there, and maybe one about Prince George's County, are there any new schools? I know I've heard talk about a new soccer stadium, and they're talking about a soccer stadium in Baltimore City, but I don't know too many people to play soccer in my old neighborhood, but anyway, I'm just wondering where the new schools are. So, as you know, think of extra feathers, 44% of America's prison population looks like me, black and male. And, and, and I do the math, uh, we're 15 to 20% of the population as a people, man, woman, boy, and child. I don't know about you, but it just seems to be some disparity. So, and when I think of 2002, and, 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 and folk got excited about this guy, uh, Michael, what's his name from Prince George? Michael, that's his name. That's his name. And, uh, and I just wondered, is anybody hearing this loyal constituency right here? The most loyal constituency to the Democratic Party in Maryland. I present to you the chair of the Maryland Democratic Party, Susan Turnbull, the lifelong community activist who has worked in numerous campaigns and Democratic Party leadership positions at the local, state, and national levels from 2005 until 2000, 2009. Ms. Turner will serve as Vice Chair of the Democratic National Committee, acting as an instrumental advisor of a number of key Democratic programs and initiatives. Ms. Susan Turnbull, please come on in. I just know that while we have a new president, we have a new chair here at the party.
Thank you.